The following is a world class bullshit as exclusive. Excellent! Ah, so they just announced a new batch of Star Wars shows. And uh, they're about as disappointing as Kathleen Kennedy's tenure as president of Lucasfilm. So if you think this video is going to be me raging and bitching for 10 minutes about how Lucasfilm doesn't understand Star Wars, you'd be gravely mistaken. So just calm down. Calm your tits. My complaint is where's the Ryan Johnson trilogy? I have spent years waiting for the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Literally years. I have been told countless times what a racist piece of shit I am, even though I'm not white. I've been told what a racist piece of shit I am for not liking The Last Jedi. I've had people attack me. I've had people complain. I've had people go after me because I'm such a terrible person for not liking this movie. And so now, when I'm waiting for the follow-up to said film, I'm not getting it, so I'm pissed. You see, I suffered for so long. I was told all these terrible things about me, but I knew it would all come to a pass, an end, once Ryan Johnson's trilogy came out. Because I know that everyone will be so happy with how great of a job that Ryan Johnson has done. Because remember, folks, he did direct The Last Jedi. I was so excited for that film to come out so everyone would leave me alone and focus on how great the Ryan Johnson trilogy was going to be. And if you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. If my name was Razor Fist, I'd be screaming, fuck you, I was right. Because we've been right the entire time. Not just me, the entire community, because why would you follow up with absolute bullshit? You fucking wouldn't. But the reason I'm pissed is because we spent three years being told what pieces of shit we are and that everything would come to a pass with the Ryan Johnson trilogy because we were wrong. We were so fucking wrong the entire time. Oh, you guys are just terrible pieces of shit. You guys are just angry white people on the internet. You can't get over Luke Skywalker. You know what? You all made a bad movie. We spent years paying for it, and Star Wars is broken because of your bullshit, because of your lies, because of your PR, the spin. You want to throw an entire fan base under the bus when one motherfucker needs to be thrown under the bus. And you know what? His head is round, just like one of those fucking wheels. So the wheels on the bus can be Ryan Johnson's head. Now, if I go look at these shows, I see Cassie and Andor, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Star Wars, a droid story, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. The Bad Batch, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Ahsoka, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. The Acolyte, don't even know what the fuck that is, but that is not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Lando, a Star Wars story, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Rangers of the New Republic, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Rogue Squadron, one of the greatest things of all time to come from Star Wars, not the Ryan Johnson trilogy. And finally, Star Wars Visions. I don't know what the fuck that is, but the only vision is not of the Ryan Johnson trilogy, and that's a problem. We have been living in this stasis for years. You can't complain, you can't talk, you can't critique about Star Wars until the next film comes out. Well, the next film came out, and it was absolute dog shit. Fuck The Rise of Skywalker. It's a bad movie, and anybody that thinks it's the best Star Wars movie, please, buy the bridge I'm trying to sell you. I need to get out of this goddamn state. Indecision is my biggest problem with anything in life, and I can't stand this bullshit from Disney. Every time they announce big stuff, we're supposed to be excited and shut the fuck up and just take it like good Star Wars fans. Guess what? Last time they made this announcement, nothing came out. Where is the Boba Fett movie? We were told that Josh Trank was going to direct the Boba Fett movie. For years, we were told, Boba Fett's coming, get excited, and then nothing. So what do they do? They turn the Boba Fett movie into the Mandalorian TV show. And subsequently, they turn the Mandalorian TV show into a backdoor pilot for half of these fucking shows. Ahsoka? That episode was garbage last week. Everyone went on and on about it. The Mandalorian suffered, but that's okay. You're going to get an Ahsoka show, so that's awesome. We can sacrifice the one thing that doesn't suck dick to placate the ego of a guy who's not as good as George Lucas. Awesome, let's watch that show. Then we got Rangers of the Republic. When I think of the word Ranger, I think of three things. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Walker Texas Ranger, and the Lone Rangers. And yes, I pluralized that name. Star Wars Rangers of the New Republic, the more I think about it, the more I hate it. Because you remember those two X-Wing pilots? And I thought one of them was played by Dave Filoni. And the other guy, well, he was good, just don't know who he is. I feel like that was a backdoor pilot. And Rangers of the New Republic is going to be those guys, Cara Dune, and Carl Weathers. You know, the more I think about it, I hope they just kill the Mandalorian at the end of this show because it's not his show anymore. If they're willing to sacrifice something so popular in an attempt to expand the brand, well, then Star Wars will always be lost because no matter how great the next show will be, or could be, or film, it's always going to be, let me add a little more to make it better. And in reality adding takes away. 
This is one of those situations where they throw a lot of flash at the screen and they don't really follow up with a lot of substance. And that's what Star Wars has been for so long under the Disney reign, actually the entire time under the reign of Kathleen Kennedy. It's been a hollow, lifeless franchise. It's just a shell. Star Wars used to be one of the most rich, engaging universes in science fiction and fantasy. Now, every time you talk about Star Wars, you're bombarded with identity politics and assholes who don't know how the world works. I mean, the person in charge of Star Wars, what did they do? They were on record saying, we don't have books or novels or comics to adapt from. Bitch, you fucking canceled all those goddamn books. You had that shit. Don't even lie to me. All of this stuff bounces back to the one problem Star Wars has had since 2012. Who is in charge? The woman that you think is in charge knows absolutely dick about Star Wars, and the people who get these new jobs know dick about Star Wars as well. Only one motherfucker, Jon Favreau, has known what he's doing since the beginning and has delivered. You show me a Mandalorian episode written or directed by Jon Favreau, and I'm probably going to say it's one of the best ones, because he's one of the best filmmakers out there to touch Star Wars. Hell, I'll even go further. He's one of the best genre filmmakers of the last 20 years. The guy's responsible for the MCU. He has the right touch. I love his work, and he loves Star Wars, and that's what I love about his work. He gets the franchise. He gets the brand. I had thought we were removed from this bullshit. I thought that Star Wars had died. It had ended with the rise of Skywalker. And the Mandalorian would be this chance to start anew. But it's not. It's the same old shit. It's shows that we're being hyped for, that you will fight over, that will break apart the fan community, and it will ruin a great thing. Because people get all emotionally invested in this shit, and then it doesn't come out. Three years ago, when I walked out of The Last Jedi, I knew there would never be a Ryan Johnson trilogy because that motherfucker would never touch another Star Wars thing again. Make your knives out, make your looper, make your independent films, and roll your ass on out of here. This galaxy is not for you. For every Canto bite, for every bullshit that we had to suffer, every time Luke Skywalker had his balls cut off, reattached, and cut off again, and the pain hurt each and every time, every time I saw that shit, I knew it was your fucking fault. And I know, going back and watching the director and the Jedi, that it's your fucking fault with your one draft script and your stupid president that allowed that shit. Fuck these people. This is why I'm as pissed as I am. I never wanted to watch the Ryan Johnson trilogy. I never thought I was going to watch the Ryan Johnson trilogy. But I'm tired of being told that I need to shut up about Star Wars and wait for these great properties to come out and then they never come out. Fuck you, I'm done. <laughs> I needed to get that out. So folks, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this rant and I don't really make these often, let me know. I'll make more. I'm pissed off about a lot of stuff these days, so I'll be happy to bitch about it for your listening pleasure. Folks, I'll be back next time with more, so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, have the bell notifications turned on, and make sure you guys are checking out the comic. I'm gonna put the image on screen real quick. Stealing Solo, the second chance edition. It's coming very soon. Two covers. First, the main cover, an amazing, world-class painting from Anna, that Star Wars girl. Her and I collaborated, and it features all of your favorite fandom menace creators. But there's more. For one day only, you will have exclusive access to the original High Council cover. Yes, I showed this last night on the show. Ethan, Jeremy, myself, and Cecil. And I'm going to sweeten the deal a little more. Ethan is known for Cyberfrog, one of the most successful, actually the most successful independent comic book of all time. I have the opportunity to work with a man named Kyle Ritter, the man who brought the vibrancy and the color to Cyberfrog. So if you're into independent comics, if you're into comic books in general, make sure you guys sign up for the link in the description below and uh, don't miss out. That'll only be available for one day and when it's colored, you know you're gonna want it. So sign up because you'll probably forget. So folks, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you for watching. I am not normally this angry as I said. It just it needed to come out and everyone can understand what that's like. So. If you're out there in the audience and you're scared, oh, is Jeff gonna hurt us? No, just Kathleen Kennedy. With words, never physical, because I'm not that kind of guy. But thank you for watching. Be smart, be cool, be safe, be sexy, be happy, be merry, have a holly jolly Christmas, but always be excellent to each other.